welcome back to episode 9 of our Let's Play. Is it 9? Yes it is. 9 of our Let's Play on Dramod Farm. Now I accidentally fucked up last episode and I said it was 7 when it was actually supposed to be 8. So last episode was episode 8, this is episode 9. So I've windrowed all the fields that we mowed. Um, we've got the Fiat to come tow the trailer away. I've done a little bit on this field just to make sure this tractor would pull it. And it does put it, pull it, it pulls it pretty happily. Well, in a straight line, it doesn't like hills very much, but it, it'll have to do. So it's the John Deere Forager out of Colborough and the Marston Silage Trailer. Uh, we've got a fair bit in there already, as you can see through the little grill. Um, hooked up to our 8340. So let's fire up. This is going to really make this fucking thing work. I can't do this in cab. I've never been able to do this in cab. And off we go. So yeah, I, I did make the mistake. I am sorry. Uh, also, I want to say apologies for... Oh. What was it? Oh, yeah. For, I haven't actually managed to get done what I... Well, I... Yeah. yeah, I have actually. I've managed to get all the grass fields ploughed like I said I was going to do, and I'm, but I, I didn't show the little, the last of the mowing, but it's all right. Right, so we need to just back up for a minute there. Misjudge that. Of course, this thing doesn't load backwards. I don't know how much this one actually holds. Uh, I completely forgot how much it holds. We'll have to just have a quick look. But uh, it's doing all right. So we've got this field, that field, and the big one. So we'll have plenty of actually pit silage. We've got the last of the bales to use up before we need this. So this is just to get it out of the way. So we've actually got some. I'm hoping this thing will go up this fucking hill. But she sounds like she's right on the... Uh, Last of her revs. So. Yeah, I think we're on. We're right. We're pushing this 8340 quite hard to do this. Oh, the rear wheels are spinning. Keep a grip. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's doing it though, we're at one mile an hour. I have got the realistic fill uh, thing, weight thing, whatever you call it. I can never remember its fucking name, but I have got that installed, which changes all the weights of the trailer so they're actually um, a lot heavier. So you can't just get a, can't just get like the smallest tractor and pull the biggest trailer, you know, you've actually got to try and... Which is why I thought the Masters would be a good choice, because they are very small, and we've got two very high horse tractors. Actually, moat... Yeah, all of these part bar the little John Deere are high horse tractors. So So you know it's uh, it's alright. Um I don't know how we're gonna get that row. Like this this guy could become full before we Ah, no, we're alright. Um right, I'll have to bend the PCO. Lock it right over. Uh, we'll go. Hang on. Let me just. I know it would be a bit tight trying to make that corner. Steady, steady. There we go. Right, we'll just push that onto the flat. Knock you off. Unattach. Pull forward. Uh, turn you off so we're not wasting our diesel. Uh, get to the New Holland. I did park it a bit far away. Now, to the person that commented when I said this tractor was a bit loud, I understand that they are loud in real life. I do. I know that older tractors are loud. I do own two old tractors, and they are mega loud. But in this game, it seems to be over the top loud. I mean, I'm only on 30% volume, and I can barely hear myself talk in this thing. So, I think I may have the volume on the actual PC quite loud. But right, let's go put this in.
this this is the one good thing about this little track here. You don't know, we don't really have to look for traffic because there isn't any. Now I've, I've moved the grass bales. I'll show you where I've put them. I fed the cows the last of the mixed rations out that feeder. Probably should wait for the gate to open before I drive through it. I think that suits the Marston quite well. Right. right, then we'll pull the next trailer next to it, and we'll, we're going to just do that. So the grass bales are there. We haven't got any hay bales. Well, we've got very few, so we'll have to buy it. I think we'll have to buy a couple in just to see us through. Otherwise, we are going to be pushing... Well, actually, no, we've got the other fields to do, but we'll have to fast-forward time to get them to grow back in, and, I don't, and that means that we will be pushing the... I've turned too sharply there. That means that we will be pushing how much we've actually made, so... Put him down here. Turn it off. I mean, I, I know we're not doing this like mega fast, but it's not. It's no big deal. I mean, if it takes two episodes, it takes two episodes. I'm not bothered. I've always just enjoyed just relaxing when I'm doing silage. You know, never rushing about or anything like that. Now we should be able to do this a bit in cab. Yeah, it's never really bothered me to rush about doing silage. Um, simply because in game it, it really does not matter when you do the silage. Nothing changes. You know, you could do silage when the season says it's the middle of winter. You can still cut the grass. You know, it's fine. Oh, and he goes. So we're only on episode 10 already. Fucking hell. We've... Uh, really threw this map out well I really I wanted to really push this uh, map out quite thick and fast just to well just to sort of help with the support that uh, so we're on 2190 RPM now this forager will take like easily another 200 horsepower easily you know, with no bother at all. Um, but, you know, I don't want to put one of my biggest tractors on it because there's no point. This tractor's here to do this job. You know, it does actually do it quite well. It's a bit slow on the hills, but, you know, I'm not in a rush. I mean, that Fiat wouldn't even touch this. Um, she, she probably wouldn't. Come on, get that bit of grass. There we go. I just wanted. To, I just don't like miss. When it comes to grass work, I don't like missing bits. You know, some. I know sometimes on the camera I do miss bits, but you know, I when when it comes to this, it does piss me off endlessly if I miss a bit. I don't know why. It's not like I can't go around and just pick it up, but it just it just if I haven't picked it up and I've done something in it, it just pisses me off endlessly. Ah. So I hope you're all still enjoying the series as much as I am enjoying uh, the recording and you know editing and making of it. I do enjoy every video that I put out. I do like making videos on this map. It is nice. Um, I want to try and do a few vlogs just to so I can ease my time playing this map. Otherwise, the inevitable will happen. I will get bored. You know, if you play a map for too long, even if you play the game for too long, you know, you do get bored of it. You know, it isn't, it isn't, I know in real life it's one of them things that you just can't, you know, once you're in farming, that's about it, that's, but 
in, when you when it's in a game like in real life you know you have maintenance to do you know you dip you do oils and changes on tractors and you could do hydraulic oils uh, you could do repairs on sheds you could do a bit of fencing a bit of hedge laying you know bits and pieces like that. in this game you know you don't get any of that you just sort of get you know mow your fields plant your fields you know cut your hay cut for hay make some bales cut for straw get some straw bales make some silage bales get some animals sell a bit of grain you know cut some trees down do a bit of that you know there's no maintaining of fields you know there's no field work you know put a new head fence up or something like that you know one of your fields move your cows so they're a new pasture or something like that there's, there's none of that in this game so which is why you can get bored of this game super easy but yet real life it's uh <coughs> it's actually super good um this trailer holds a lot you know for this field size this field's quite small to be honest i did cut i cut it just to sort of boost up how much we'd actually get out of it but now i know in re i know you'd actually be running two trailers on this kind of setup or even you know two or three well two would probably be the most you'd want to run um but of course i'm not in multiplayer oh why did i take it fucking off I'm not in multiplayer so you know i can't I can't really just ask for help because there's no one here to give me help. Oh, I should be alright. I could put that little John Deere on it, but I don't think she'd actually take the weight. Right, we've got to try and squeeze in there now. That should be close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. It's close enough and good enough. Right, so it should take... We shouldn't have to empty this trailer now. Now until after this field. Um, but we'll empty it before we go into the next field. So I th it's... Oh, holds a fair bit, this, tra this little trailer does. Too bad there's no manure trailer. You know, the ones with the kind of sloped backs. I mean, we could use the grain trailer, but... Which I probably will do, but... Just make another pile here. Just just trying to keep it level. Right, we haven't got anything to level it with, so we'll have to just sort of use whatever tractor... We've got three after all the fields because they should. We should get a fair bit in there actually. Um, like before, like after, out of these three fields, we should get you know a good couple of liters, which means that, that sh we should be our, we should be set for most of the let's play, unless we decide to do biogas. But I'm I'm not a big fan on biogas. So this way is a bit slower. I understand it's a bit slower. Um, the quickest way would probably be a forage harvester and two trailers. But I'm not in multiplayer, and I don't intend to put this game on multiplayer. Simply because I like to play the game the way that I like. I would play, you know. I mean, I do like to do silage this way. I don't, I've never done it this way in real life. We used to do bales, but, you know... You, I've seen it done. You know, video. I haven't seen it done in, in real life. I've seen it done on YouTube. But it's not the same, is it, really? Right. So it should be this last row, and then there's a, just a row on the top of the hill, and then we're done.
Oh, I. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, we're not going to go in the gutter yet. That was close. I kept, I wondered why we weren't going anywhere then. And I completely zoned out again. If you've been watching my videos for a long, long time, you'll notice that sometimes I go really quiet. And that's because I've just zoned out. I don't fucking know why. I've been doing YouTube. God, it'd be nearly three years. Well, I've been doing it too. I know that. And uh, I still do it even now. I still just zone out for no apparent reason. It's the strangest of things. So we'll do field 27 next. Uh, we'll see how full this trailer gets. If it's above halfway, we'll go tip it. If it's not, we won't bother. But uh, that's this field done. That's field 32 ticked off, done. You know, it just this field wants ploughing, but I'm going to do... Uh, um, oh, yes, we could actually plough these three uh, because the last... Uh, because the other ones up there have been done and ploughed and seeded and I've done all them. So, they're all done. Right, this trailer is on 50%. Oh, we we'll won't bother tipping it. And it all folds away neatly in a little little road train. Which is going to be a bitch to get in this fucking other gateway. Oh, so you got to swing over and then lock her close to that post there. you got to keep her tight. Keep her tight. Alright. And plenty of fucking room. There we go. Right, so what road do we want to start? Let me just... Turn all the way round. Turn all the way round because there's a row in this far corner I'm going to try and get hold of first. Alright, let's unfold it all. We're going to have to drive into the hedge, I think, to get this piece. This little bit here. But Of course, I would like to get all of the grass in this field. There we go. Right, now we need to just kind of reverse out. So let's just jackknife it all and turn this way. <laughs> wow, that is some real turning skill. That is like a bobcat, that was. Let's turn it all on. And go. Du, 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 du. 20 minutes. Well, about 20 minutes. We'll, we'll, be, we'll get quite a few loads in that pit, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, it's been a bit, it's been a bit on the uh, uh, slow side, these videos. Well, not these videos, you know, but we've been doing this. We'll get our silage in and then We'll, we might start the sheep, you know, because sheep are good. But I kind of want to keep the cows happy because they were the first things we bought. And uh, this this farm that this is based on in real life is actually based on a beef farm, beef and sheep. I don't know if it's yeah beef and sheep farm in real life. So I wanted to start with the cows, which I know uh, I know that the cows in this game are dairy, but. You know, there's, there is no beef cows, otherwise we would have done beef first. We kind of just started, you know, fitted in with the theme of the map, with the, the place in real life. And it's full. Oh, fucking hell. Turn it off, you little bitch. Get the so nothing else is doing anything. We've got soya beans in them fields. Well, they've been planted anyway with soya beans. So we need to get well. I'll get the last of that done off screen because hired work has been a bit funny and won't uh, won't get it. Won't actually hire and stay hired on it. But you know, it's fine. Yep. 
Right, so we're doing all right. This would actually probably make a good multiplayer video if I could be bothered to put this game on a server or something, but... You know, I like doing things myself. And I like, uh, I like just the way that we're doing more than just one thing. I mean, we are doing silage, but we get to do the chopping and tow the trailers, whereas if you've got someone on trailers... You know, it's a, it's a bit of a pain in the arse. Not because they're on trailers, but because, you, you know, if you try to film something or... Don't ask me why I kind of started in the middle for this, uh... So if we do a bit of compacting, I'm not going to bother with one of them uh, sh pushes. I just want to make sure that when we come in, no, oh. ah bollocks. See, in real life, this wouldn't happen. But of course, the fucking game is a load of bollocks. I'm gonna. You know, you don't, you don't get trailers and tractors stuck in silage pits on the smallest bit of silage in the fucking world. Sixty thousand. We're only doing a bit of compacting just so if next time we come in, it's not too difficult. I mean, what I could do is just reverse in from the other end and go that way. Um, but we will, I will compact this probably off screen whilst there's a load of other stuff happening. I mean this silage isn't really needed right now, um, you know, we do only need it for uh, for when we've run out of silage bales so we'll have to just chuck them in for the next load of mixed rations. Has a new cow arrived yet? Or old thirty-two? No, we're still waiting. But we've got nearly thirty thousand. We've got nearly thirty thousand liters of milk in the pit. We've only got two thousand three hundred forty-one liters of manure, and we've got fifty-eight thousand nine hundred ninety-three liters of slurry, which is only about seven percent. So. God knows how big that pit is, but it must be fucking huge. Alright, uh, swing in. But these fields, these three fields that we've got here, we can't fertilise because they are still, you know, the standard grass fields. So, the ones that we have ploughed and sorted will be the ones that I can actually do something with so we'll be able to put slurry on them and get a bit of better yield. And go. So you know, rinse and repeat. Rinse and fucking repeat. Diddly such a nice day in this game. I mean, it's sunny. It's day one, again. Um, Twenty-seven thousand pounds in the bank. Nice bit of bank balance. Uh, hopefully, that milk. We should get a fair bit for the milk. I'm gonna try not to fast forward time till I really have to. Uh, simply because the only problem is I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna have to buy some hay bales off screen and put them through the. Uh, get them so that we can feed the cows mixed rations you know and keep them all up to date whilst we fast forward time but I want to get that field planted first before I do that so I might just work through the night to get that planted not real life night but you know if the game turns to night whilst we're still collecting this or 
or whatever. But yeah, sorry for the mistake on episodes on the episode where I say it's episode 7. It's actually meant to be episode 8, which is the one after, just before this one. Which is a pain in the ass because I, I always fucking do that. I always make one mistake on my videos. I don't remember if anyone remembers me playing Aldridge Farm on FS15. That was I made a few mistakes on their video titles, but but hopefully you can you can see through my incredible dumb mistake. Ah, she's filling up good now, lads. She's filling up good. Don't know how we're going to get to that row. We might have to reverse. Which is going to be a big pain in the arse. Now, I think that Marston has quite a nice dirt texture, if I remember rightly. Ah, we'll go around again. On the inside. I mean, there's enough room to go around on the outside now, but we'll go on the outside. So I don't know how much horsepower you'd actually force through one of these in real life, but this is only 125 and that's making it work. So, you know, I remember watching the grass, the, when the grass men had, uh, what was it, they were doing like a bit of a teaser video, that, well, a bit of a showcase of some of their kit, and they had a, a JFP, was it a Pottinger JF? Pottinger? The JF uh, trail behind, and that thing had 200 and something horse put through it, I think. I think it had a, a, a New Holland on it, which was about two something horse, and uh, it, it could have easily taken, they like said, another another 100 horsepower without any problem. Which is probably true, but I don't know how true that is to real life. Uh, I know in this game, this thing's eating power like, you know, there's no tomorrow. Off. All right, let's get the little feet. So we've, you know, we've only done one headland of this, and we've already got, well, one headland goes about one trailer. So it's working out, you know, one headland is equal equivalent to like one trailer. Um, but I don't. But we will have a bit of a look see when we've got fertilizer on the ground for these fields. Where are you? Oh, you bastard. Heaver. Tell you what, if it wasn't for this Fiat, um, you know, I do like the Fiats. Uh, they are nice. They are very nice tractors. Um, but this thing makes such a good yard tractor. It's just the right horsepower. 110 horsepower yard tractor, it powers the feeder, it can pull things like this, you know, it can take the animal trailer, water trailer, muck spreading, slurry, you know, it's good for just jobs, you know, it doesn't, you get some tractors that you think this is just, you know, overly too big for, for what I want to do with it, alright, so if we start about there, As long as it spreads the full length of the pit, I'm not too bothered. Well, not the full length, you know, but to about there. So we're going to try and start all three in the same place. Um, then we need to get something on it. Like, I'm going to bring something. I might bring another tractor down and compact it every so often. Um, just simply because this feet isn't very heavy. You, know, you want some you want something with a bit of weight in it. Oh, it's nearly time to finish the episode, so we'll hook this back up and then that'll do. Uh, episode ten we might do a bit more if I've got some left. I think I'll do this field off I'll do this field off camera because, you know, it's quite a big field and we'll uh, The next field we'll do is that one in there. Um but I'll try and get some crop in the ground at least, so You know, so at least you can kind of see what to have you. Right, so anyway, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today. I shall see all of you. Well, yeah. Hang on, I've done it. I've done it wrong again. Fucking hell. Thank you everybody for watching. If you're new around here, please click the subscribe button and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos being uploaded. Happy farming and goodbye.